Good morning. My name is Maria Tolso and this is your gentle morning practice to come into your body and get ready for your day. So you're going to start on your back today, lying down on your mat and drawing your knees into your chest. Apanasana. Find some length in your neck and then compress your knees down towards your chest. You might even pull your knees in so much that your low back comes off the mat for a moment and then replace the low back on the mat and then let up a little bit and just let the low back spread side to side. Now gently rock side to side. Find some mobility in the sacrum. Feel what's going on in your hip joints. And then again, come back to center. And again, let your low back completely relax. Find a little length through the back of your neck. Tuck your chin a little bit. And now let your knees come apart. Then reach between your legs and see where your hands land. For some of you, it might be the soles of the feet. And for some of you, it might be the ankles or even higher up on the shins. Just let it be a sense of opening up the hips, knees dropping side to side out to either side and a nice deep stretch through the inner thighs. Hold here. If you like to make little rocking movements side to side, you can. And like I said, if you like to come into full Ananda Balasana to open the hips, you might be ready for that. But morning hips often don't like that and would be happier if you not stretch quite so deeply, quite so soon. And draw the knees back into your chest and place one foot at a time back on the mat and lengthen your legs out. Now extend your arms overhead, interlace your hands and press the palms up toward the top of the mat and reach through your toes. Stretch out your body, create more space in your rib cage, more space in your abdomen. Keep reaching, you'll be surprised how much space you can create in your torso. And then let your arms come down and just hold here in Shavasana for a moment. Lift up for a moment and draw your shoulder blades down and back. And rest for a moment, feeling your limbs, your arms, your legs, your hands, your feet. And drop into an awareness of the breath. Close your eyes for a moment. Start breathing in and out through your nose, feeling the stream of air in your nose, in the back of your throat. Feel the rise and fall of the chest and of the belly. Now if you're not quite sure you're breathing into your abdomen, and a lot of us are not unless we really direct the breath, then lay your hands on your belly, one hand above the belly button, one hand below. And then see if your breath can lift your hands up. Let the inhale breath be longer than what might feel quite natural to you. And let the exhale breath be longer as well. Let your eyes soften, your face, your jaw, your tongue, your throat. And let the breath become slower and deeper, almost sleep-like. And then release one hand at a time down along your sides. And now start waking up your hands and feet. So making little fists with your hands, open up your fingers, little fists with your hands and spread out your fingers. Rotate your ankles side to side, little circles. And then draw one knee at a time back into your chest. And now cross your legs, your ankles rather, and hold on to the outer edges of your feet. And then pull your feet toward you. If that's hard to reach, you can also grab your big toes like this. And now start rocking, pulling your knees in, and come up, and roll, and come up. Now it's coming up like this, it's not happening in your morning body, 
then instead bring your knees together, roll over to your right side, rest for a moment with your head on your right arm, press into the left hand to come up. And then switch around and come into tabletop. If your knees are tender, you can fold a blanket and set them set under your knees. And then start coming into a spine warm-up, dropping the belly down, looking up, and pushing belly up, looking under like you're trying to see your own belly button. And on the inhale breath, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the tail. And on the exhale, push the belly button up toward the back of the spine, draw the tail under. Two more times. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the nose and tail. And exhale, cat pose, stretching the space between the shoulder blades. And come into a neutral spine. Hold here for a moment. And then walk your hands out to the floor next to your mat to the right and stretch the left shoulder away from the left hip. So the left side body is getting stretched out. Hold the deepest stretch that you can and then add breath to that. Draw a deep breath in to the left side body. And then walk the hands across the mat to the other side, stepping the hands out to the floor and pulling the right shoulder away from the right hip. Keep the belly lifted up. Low back is neutral. Look behind you, see the, the toes or the heels. Big breath into the right side body and come all the way back to tabletop. Now tuck your toes under, step your hands a little closer to the top of the mat, have your fingers spread out, and then push back to down dog. Send your hips up high, lengthen out the back of your legs, lengthen out your arms, and sink the heels. Now if your spine is rounding like this, then bend your legs, send the tail up, find length through the spine, feel the spine lengthen, and when you have this inner sensation of a long, open line in the spine, then start straightening the legs. See how much room you have in your hamstrings to lengthen out the back of your legs. Again, sometimes the spine will start rounding. That means that the knees have to bend a little bit more. So play a little bit with what you need for a bend in your knees to keep your spine straight. Hold here and breathe. Keep pressing the hips up. Keep lengthening out arms and legs. Then look to the top of the mat. And step up to the top of the mat. Stand wide. So bring the outer edges of the feet to the outer edges of the mat. And fold. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. And let yourself drop forward into ragdoll or uttanasana. Bend your legs a little bit. Then straighten them. And then just hang here and let your body slowly soften into this fold. Now you can tip a little bit more toward the toe side of your feet. Keep it on your back today. Lie down on your mat and draw your knees into your chest. Apanasana. Find some length in your neck and then compress your knees down towards your chest. You might even pull your knees in so much that your low back comes off the mat for a moment and then replace the low back on the mat. And then let up a little bit and just let the low back spread side to side. Now gently rock side to side. Find some mobility in the sacrum. Feel what's going on in your hip joints. And then again, come back to center. And again, let your low back completely relax. Find a little length through the back of your neck. Have very flexible joints and extend down through the fingertips as you reach up through the crown of your head. Then inhale up to Urdha Hastasana, arms overhead, and exhale forward into Uttanasana, forward fold. Then inhale to a halfway lift. You can bring your hands to your shins or fingertips toward the floor, and bend your legs and come back into high plank pose. Engage your glutes. Careful not to hyperextend the elbows. Find neutral elbows and then lock around that. Should this be a little much on your low back, then drop to the knees. Hold here and lower all the way to the mat. Elbows point straight back, fingertips straight forward, press the tops of the feet into the mat, and open the chest. Cobra pose, Ujjagasana, length through the neck, elbows straight back, fingertips straight forward, big breath in, 
And on the exhale, tuck your toes, press hands into the mat, and push back again. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Big breath in, and big breath out. Another breath in, and another breath out. And inhale your right leg high, and exhale your right foot between your hands. Hold here, sink into your hips, drop to the knees if you need to, Keep it straight if you want a deeper stretch. And step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale to your halfway lift. Hands can be at your shins, more toward the floor, and fold. Inhale, extend arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, come into the other side, forward fold. Second Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, press palms, step back, high plank. Hold the plank, engage the glutes, pull the belly in. Hold, drop to your knees, lower all the way to the floor, zip your legs together, and open your chest, little cobra pose, gentle on the back and an up dog, and then tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Big breath in, and big breath out. Big breath in, and big breath out. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, low lunge, left foot between your hands. Lift your chest, sink your hips, drop to the back knee as needed. Keep it off the mat for deeper stretch. Second foot follows. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Hold. Now we'll come into a balancing pose, Vikshasana, tree pose. Start again in your Tadasana. Set it up. Not just the physical part of the pose, but the energetic part of the pose. Ground down through your feet. Lift up through the top of your head. And then inhale, extend your arms up. Bring the palms together. Straighten out the arms as best you can. Keep all this height. And then just lower your hands down to heart center. Now come to the ball of the right foot. Open up the right leg and bring the right foot to the inside of the standing leg. You can pull the leg all the way up to a high tree or stay in the lower tree. You could also have your foot on the floor like a little kickstand and trying to find your balance. When you find your balance here with your leg, then you can extend your arms up. They become your branches, your crown. So you're extending up toward the light through the branches, grounding down through the, the earth with your roots. Then bring the palms together and join the hands of the heart. And step down, shake your legs out a little bit, and set up the other side. Come to the ball line of the left foot, open up the left leg, and bring the left foot to the inside of the standing leg. Again, choose your height. Just don't be on this little inside of the knee. If you want to be higher, you probably have to pull your leg up, but then sink the hip down so it doesn't hike up higher than the other hip. Once you have your leg in place, start extending energy up through the crown of your head, and then eventually the arms follow. For a little extra balancing challenge, you could choose to look up and have the whole crown of the body the upper half of the body lift and the lower half of the body ground down. Then keeping all the grounding and the lifting energy in place, bring the hands down and release down to Tadasana. Then step out to Prasada Padasanasana. Nice wide stance, extend your arms out. Have it be as close to a straight line from the wrist down to the heel as you can get. In the beginning, it can be easier to not stand quite so wide. And yet again, when you fold forward here in a moment, if you're wider, the earth is a little closer. Draw the belly in, bring the hands to your hips, and fold forward, leading with your chest, lift your kneecaps and your quadriceps. Bring the hands to the floor and draw the crown of the head to the floor. Relax your neck. Keep the weight equally distributed between your heels and your toes. Keep your kneecaps and your quadriceps lifted. Relax your shoulders, but draw them slightly into their sockets. And then come into a halfway lift. 
fingertips or palms and bring the hands back to your hips and come all the way up. Now step your feet together and shake your legs out a little bit. Come back to the mat. Extend your legs out ahead of you. Dandasana. Grab the flesh of the buttock and pull back a little bit so the pelvis is more upright. Now if you have this going on when you're sitting in Dandasana, grab a little blanket or a folded towel and sit on the edge of it so you tilt your pelvis slightly up. From here, extend your arms overhead, interlace your hands and press your palms up. Then reach toward the ceiling and reach forward to your feet. And round slightly over your legs. If you're feeling stiff this morning, or if it's not possible to go very deep in your Paschimottanasana, then just stay up and focus on lifting the crown away from the tailbone. If you're able to fold, go ahead and do that. Find a stretch that works for you. The moment you start feeling pain in your vertebrae and your spine when you fold, then come up. Let it be a focus on the back of the legs and not on the low back. And come back up. Come off the blanket and get the blanket off to the side if you use the blanket. And then come to lie down on the mat again. And draw the knees into your chest. Interlace your hands below the knees across the shins. Pull the knees in. And again, check in with the low back. Rock a little bit side to side. And then drop your knees over to the right, but let your upper body be on the floor. Extend your left arm out like a T. And breathe into the low back. Relax both shoulders. If you want to complete the twist, you could even look to the left. If that's too much on the neck, then just have your gaze be toward the ceiling. Close a little bit. And now when you inhale, feeling the breath, find all the furthest corners of the pose. And exhale, let your body melt into the pose, giving into the twist, really feeling the body settle into the twist. Find the bottom of the exhale as you breathe. Inhaling deeply, pressing into the twist from the inside. And exhale, relax completely into the pose. Relax the back of the head on the mat. If your chin has tilted up, then lengthen out the neck. Let the shoulder blades glide down the back. And let the whole body settle into a deep place of ease while staying alert and open in the mind. Sensing and feeling your thumbs, your index fingers, your middle fingers, your ring fingers, your pinky fingers, the palm of your hands, the back of your hands. Chin has tilted up and lengthen out the neck. Let the shoulder blades glide down the back. And let the whole body settle into a deep place. Feel the rhythm of your breath. And settle into a deep place of relaxation in your body and in your mind. Stay tuned to the breath, the sensation of the breath in the nose, in the body.
bring a little life back into your limbs, starting with the fingers, the toes, gently wiggling, moving. Fingers and toes, hands and feet. And rock your head side to side, ever so slowly. And then roll over to your right side. Rest your head on your right arm. Keeping eyes closed for a moment longer. Letting yourself be present in your body, feeling the inhales and the exhales calmly moving through your body. And then press into the left hand and find your way up to seated. Find a cross-legged position, Sukhasana. If you need a little height, pull your blanket or your block in to sit on. And then sit nice and upright, pressing the sit bones into your mat and extending up through the crown of your head. And let your sit self sit here and feel the body and the breath for a moment before your day begins. to heart center, bow the head to the heart, bow the intellect to the center of compassion. And from this space, express either gratitude inwardly, maybe a prayer, or maybe simply sitting in the silence of the heart for another minute. to third eye center. As yogis, we practice the art of staying connected to our higher selves, our spirit selves, and also seeing that same spirit self in everyone else. We bow and say, Namaste. Namaste.